Hello, Silva Vervoort with Technical Analysis Part 22. With this video we continue Elliott Waves looking at the rules and application of correction waves. Pay a visit to my website at stoccata.org and buy my new book Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis, a complete technical analysis reference and a winning trading system. Let me first sum up a few important things about correction waves. Recognizing correction waves is more difficult than recognizing impulse waves. There are more correction patterns than impulse patterns. Correction patterns have the tendency to develop more complex combinations. The most important rule is that a correction wave of the same order can never have five waves. Only impulse waves have five waves. A correction consisting of a five impulse wave can therefore never be the end of that correction. The zigzag pattern is the most common correction structure. A zigzag can consist of one zigzag, a double zigzag or rarely a triple zigzag. The zigzag belongs to the family of sharp corrections. A zigzag correction has three waves. Wave A is an impulse wave or starting wedge impulse wave. Wave B can be any kind of correction pattern. Wave B is smaller than wave A. Wave C is an impulse wave or an ending wedge impulse wave. A simple zigzag pattern has three waves. A double zigzag pattern has seven waves, meaning two simple zigzags separated by an X wave. A triple zigzag has 11 waves with two X waves. Example of a simple zigzag correction with a lower degree extension zigzag correction in wave C. To denote a double zigzag we use WXY instead of the standard ABCX ABC Elliott notation. For the triple zigzag this becomes WXY X2Z. This is a more consistent way of notation because more zigzags of a lower order are connected together by a higher order wave. Wave W must be a zigzag pattern. Wave X can be any correction pattern. Wave X is smaller than wave W. Wave W must be a zigzag pattern. Wave Y is at minimum equal or bigger than wave X. Wave X2 can be any correction pattern. Wave X2 is smaller than wave Y. Wave Z must be a zigzag pattern. Wave Z is at minimum equal or bigger than wave X2. Example of a double WXY zigzag correction with two ABC zigzags connected via the X wave and with a lower degree extension in the first C wave. Flat corrections are very common. Note that waves A and B of a flat correction are both three wave correction patterns. Wave C is an impulse pattern and usually does not pass much farther than the end of wave A. Flat corrections mostly can be found in B waves but they appear also in waves 2 and 4. Wave A can be any correction pattern. Wave B can be any kind of correction pattern except a triangle. Wave B takes at least 50% back of wave A. Wave B is never more than two times wave A. Wave C is an impulse wave or an ending wedge impulse pattern. Wave C is never more than three times wave A. Wave C is never more than two times waves A and B. Wave C moves into the territory of wave A. 
pay attention to an extended flat correction. Here waves B and C move past wave A. In a broken flat correction, on the other hand, only wave A is passed by wave B. But wave B is still a correction pattern, not an impulse wave. Just like with the zigzag, we have flat correction variants with a double and a triple flat correction. A double flat correction is quite common, but a triple flat correction is rare. A double flat correction is composed of two flat corrections connected via a correction pattern. A triple flat correction is composed of three flat corrections connected via correction patterns. We use WXY to denote a double flat correction instead of the standard ABC X ABC Elliott notation. This is a more consistent way of notation because more flat corrections of a lower order are then connected together by a higher order wave. In a double flat correction we see that waves W, X and Y are any correction pattern except a triangle or a double or a triple pattern. A triangle connection pattern has the form of a triangle. The triangle is a correction pattern consisting of five waves identified with the letters A, B, C, D and E. The triangle is drawn between the points AC and BD. A triangle will not be found in any type 2 wave, in a flat B correction wave or in a double or triple flat correction waves W, X or X2. All waves within a triangle pattern are correction waves. Wave E will in some cases penetrate the AC line. Wave A is a simple double or triple zigzag pattern or a flat correction. Wave B is a simple double or triple zigzag pattern. Waves C and D can be any correction pattern except a triangle. Waves A, B, C and D remain within or close to the triangle channel. The triangle is closed after wave E. The triangle lines converge, they cannot be parallel lines. One of the sides of the triangle can be a horizontal line. Wave E is a simple double or triple zigzag pattern or a triangle. Wave E has a smaller price move than wave D, but it moves more than 20% of D. Either wave A or wave B has the biggest price move. Wave E ends in the range of wave A. Wave E ends within or close to the BD line. In the normal triangles we have three types, symmetrical, as in the previous picture, and falling or rising triangles like in this picture. The inverted widening triangle only exists in a symmetrical version. An inverted widening triangle is rather rare. A triangle with a correction zigzag wave in each of the five legs A to E makes a rather complex reaction as you can see in this example with a falling triangle in an uptrend reaction. Trend channels are an important tool to see which waves belong together. Trend channels can be used to project price targets. Trend channels are parallel lines that capture the price move of a wave pattern. Most of the time Elliott waves of the same order can be isolated using trend channels. This is the case for impulse waves, zigzag correction waves and triangles. If these patterns are not moving within a trend channel it is likely that the Elliott count is wrong. This is the end of the Elliott correction waves part. We still have to talk about Elliott Wave's price targets. However, before that, we first have a look at Fibonacci projections and retracements. We will use this knowledge for predicting Elliott price targets. 
tell your friends about these videos, and while visiting my website, you should order my new book, Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis, a complete technical analysis reference and a winning trading system. See you in my next video.